Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Weekly Horoscope from the 11th of November up to the 17th of November 2018. And this is for you coming from Libra. So let's start with 11th November Sunday. The morning and afternoon of this Sunday, the 11th of November, has a lot of water in it. And so there's a lot of undecidedness, too much emotionalism, and there will be a little bit of restlessness as well. So try to control yourself to not be oversensitive about things. And stick to the plan. Tell yourself as a rule, what you start, you must finish. Otherwise, you'll be very changeable as well. And that's not going to go down very well with others. Best would be to let somebody else organize the morning and afternoon so that you are not then guilty of making changes midway. Evening nightfall period is excellent. Now, some of these good evening nightfall planets will go to help in the morning afternoon. So the morning afternoon can improve. Now, coming back to the evening nightfall period, it's a wonderful time to do whatever is important. You can bond, whether it's with the people you work with, the people you do business with, with the romance partner, with the marriage partner and the family. So it's going to produce plenty of reward in the evening nightfall period. And you'll be very happy as you're going to reap those rewards as well. The 12th November Monday, there's, there are planets now in the morning afternoon that make you very dominating and they make you very pushy and they make you very stubborn. So it's a working day Monday and you don't want to behave that way. What you want is to get support and what you want is to definitely want to perform well. So teamwork comes to mind. So if you are fussy and if you are overly changeable and if you are very dominating and stubborn, now that won't do well. So be part of a team. That would be the best way. Be part of a team and you'll be able to get whatever you need to do well. You'll be able to do it well morning, afternoon. Evening nightfall period. Now that's no good. These are very treacherous planets and they want you in some way or another to get into trouble. So accidents can happen. Don't go into the sea or near the sea. And also be careful of the company you keep. If the company is very treacherous and has bad habits, stay away from there and drive slowly as well. Basically, the planets of the evening nightfall want you to be disappointed. And so you are going to be disappointed one way or another. So if you don't really need to go out, go back to the safety of your own home. Because at your home, the exposure will be less to trouble. If you are outside, the exposure is unlimited to trouble. So trouble, it will be there in one way or another causing disappointment. Let's go to the 13th November, Tuesday. And that's going to be a wonderful 24 hours of good luck for you. Very fast planets are seen in the morning afternoon period. And these fast planets deliver what you want very quickly. So you've got to be on your toes, answer your messages, contact people who are waiting to be contacted. Something very good news is coming. And some of these planets of the morning afternoon are the planets of unexpected goodness so unexpected good things will also materialize out of nowhere. So you've got to project yourself, project your plans, communicate, and you will do very well in the morning afternoon period. You'll be very inventive as well. Evening nightfall, slower planets take over, but they are also to your favor. Now the slower planets means long-term planets. So long-term planets are helping you to get long-term situations good in the evening nightfall period. And that's when it will happen for you. Some of these long-term planets also go up north under, in the morning afternoon period to help you as well. So these long-term planets of the evening nightfall, you've got to be patient with them. You can't go faster than your planets. You'll be no man's land. So be patient with them. They are developing something for you slow and steady. And you'll have a wonderful evening nightfall and you'll have a wonderful morning afternoon as well. The 14th November Wednesday, now that's very good for the morning afternoon but there's one planet coming up from the evening nightfall to also join you this is the planet of anger the planet of provocation the planet that causes confrontation and provocation and so be careful that the morning afternoon 
very fast planets are seen and your tongue can be very sharp and you could be easily demanding things to be done very quickly because the fast planets make you very impatient, very hasty and you yourself would do things beautifully and quickly. But again, you could show anger as well in the morning afternoon. So repeat to yourself when you're about to get angry, take the soft approach. That's all you need to repeat yourself. That will make you be polite and not show your temper. Well, there's a lot of goodness coming in the morning, afternoon. Don't let your temper spoil it. Communicate with whatever you want, whether it's in work, whether it's in business, whether it's chasing for the romance, whether planning what you want to do later in the day. And you will see that you get something beneficial. Only control your temper. Now, evening nightfall is where all these nasty planets that make you angry and easily upset and you flare your temper and you use words which are very sharp. They are all waiting for you in the evening nightfall session. If I were you, I just wouldn't go out to mix with people because the exposure to risk would be very wide of you saying something or somebody saying something. And in the end, you will retaliate and somebody else will retaliate and things will just get worse and worse and worse. And accidents can also take place. The books call it that during this evening nightfall of the 14th November, your blood can be spilled so accidents can take place. So if you don't have to be out, go back to the safety of your own home. You will be with people who love you and they will understand you. And when we are back home, the exposure to risk doesn't disappear, but it's minimized. The 15th November Thursday starts beautifully for you. You are going to be rewarded in something or another, whether chasing for the romance, whether being very happy with family and marriage and romance that you may have, being very lucky at your place of work to attract attention and be rewarded with something, whether in business that you are so creative that you are able to somehow get what you want, make the wonderful contacts for business, do something in business that you can be rewarded as well. So morning, afternoon, all this is waiting for you to happen. You've got to focus on what you really want to do and go after it and you'll get it done very nicely and full of advantage for yourself. Evening nightfall turns very nasty. Now the planets of arrogance are there. The planet that makes you criticize other people very quickly. These planets basically make you a perfectionist. Nothing is good enough for you. And so you become a pain basically. And why should anybody want to be with you? And that's exactly what happens. People isolate you and go away. And you could meet somebody important, but that somebody important could be a problem for you as well. So if you don't really have to be out, go back to the safety of your own home where the negative energy can be minimized. When you are out, it's maximized because the people you meet, the where you go is all wide open and the exposure to risk becomes very high and becomes more problematic. The 16th November Friday, not a good morning afternoon period. These are planets of treachery. They want to make you disappointed, to be let down, to be played out. They want to make you a person who just gets on the wrong side of everything. And you can be let down. So don't delegate your duties to other people. It's all going to be brought into a very bad state and then you will be the one waiting for blame. And stay away from anybody who wants to talk about secret things. Stay away from people who have secret habits as well. Even for lunchtime, for example, don't drink too much. Stay away from such people who do these bad things. This planet will want to make you attracted to them and therefore get into trouble. Because the bottom line is, you should get into trouble in the morning, afternoon. And that also can be through accidents as well. Evening nightfall improves by a bit. Now emotional planets are there and that's not so bad. But these planets of treachery from morning afternoon will go there as well because they're all very adaptable to each other. So evening nightfall, be careful. Don't show moodiness, don't be too changeable and definitely don't want to be oversensitive. And if you don't like the company, leave and go back home early. That would be better. 17th November, Saturday, an extremely wonderful morning afternoon waits for you on this Saturday morning and afternoon. Anything of the past, whether the people you know of the past, what you have done in the past, all that becomes wonderful for you to benefit from. And long-term possibilities, these are long-term planets, so they are forging a nice bonding between you and others, whether they are people you work with, people you do business with, people that you are married to, somebody, 
and or somebody that you are having a romance with, whoever, you will find a great bonding can be achieved in the morning afternoon period. So go out and about, be choosy of who you are with, see where the benefits are and you're going to get some very good ones in the morning afternoon. Evening nightfall, be careful that these planets make you very dominating and very stubborn basically. And you'll be very pushy as well. And that's not good because evening nightfall is a Saturday night. People want to enjoy themselves. So don't be too fussy about things. Don't dominate. Don't want to control anybody. Let everybody enjoy themselves. You stay quiet. Be negotiable. Be flexible. And you'll get away with it without creating too much problems. Evening nightfall period. Well, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And during the 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years. And that's going to be based on your date of birth, your time of birth and looking at your palms. And I'll cover your next seven, eight or nine years, age by age, calendar year by calendar year, all areas of your life, the romance, the marriage, the family, the job, the business, the finance, the health, I will go into great details. And I'll give you plenty of information about your personal lottery numbers, which will be relevant for the rest of your life. And you can compare that every month for the numbers I give for everybody in Libra. And if they're very close, you've got to go and buy. I'll give you your lucky colors and your lucky directions and your lucky numbers and your lucky days, your lucky gemstones, plenty of information. So go to Skype and all for USD 50. Go to Skype, send me a message or on WhatsApp or send me an email and I'll come back to you as soon as I can to make a date. Until then, thank you and good luck.